Well, hello, YouTubers. Uh, today we're going to be talking about overloading operators. Someone posed a, a question in our Facebook um, group, which is called Learn C Sharp the Right Way. If you have a chance, come and check us out. Uh, we have about 200 plus members at this point. Uh, today is actually our first year anniversary of the group, and uh, we're going strong. It's a lot of people, a lot of people posting questions, answering questions. So it's worth uh, it's worth uh, the time. So let's go ahead and take a look at overloading operators. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and start a new project here, um, and just and just so we can. Uh, Understand this a little bit a little bit better. Over overloading operators, um, it's it, they're usually used to add different types together. So um, the let's take let's take for example the uh, addition operator. Um, in itself, it's already overloaded. And let me explain to you. So if you do console um, right line, and then you add let's say two ints together. Let's say two plus two. Um, and then we'll do the same thing, but instead of ints now, we use, let's say, doubles. So 3.56 uh, plus 0.32. And then you can also use the uh, addition sign with uh, um, uh, strings. So let's say, I don't know, S1 and then plus, uh, I don't know, 769. Okay? So if we. If we take a look at the output here, so let me go ahead and run the project, um, and let me just step through the whole thing, and then we can see the output. You can see that 2 plus 2 equals 4, 3.56.32 is 3.88, and S1 plus 769 is S1769. And when we actually look at these, you can see that 2 is identified by, by the, the framework as an N32 plus an N32, and here it's a double plus another double, and this is a string plus another string. So we can see that in itself, by default, the addition operator is overloaded. It can it can it knows what to do with many different types. So uh, int plus an int, a double plus um, another double. You can actually um, you can actually add other things together as well. So what does it mean for us to overload an operator? Um, in order for us to understand that, let's take a look at, let's create our own class, and I already created here on the side, so let me just go ahead and copy and paste this for the sake of uh, saving time. So I created a class called person, okay? And this is very straightforward, it's like a cookie cutter class. You have first name, last name, age, date of birth, and so on. Um, so now that I have my class here, I'm going to create an object person, me going to equal to a new person and then when I build this class I'm asking on the constructor of the class to pass the birthday as a string so my birthday is November 15th 1980 I know I'm getting old 30 years old all right so now we have me okay um, let me go ahead and take a let me go ahead and run this so you can see what it looks like let's step through the class and now we can take a look at the object and you can see that I'm 30 years old. My birthday is November 15th, 1980. I didn't add first and last name, which, which is okay. Let's say that I want to add to my own age. Okay? If I try to, if I try to do this, if I try to do me equals me plus five, the, the plus operator doesn't know what to do. It recognizes that five is an in thirty-two, but me it's is a a type person, so it doesn't know it doesn't know what to do with a person plus an int. The the plus operator does not know what to do. So, for, in order for this to work, we have to overload that operator, and we do that inside the person class. So, to overload the operator, uh, we do the public static um, we're gonna return a person okay so this is pretty much like a method but now we use the keyword operator and then we use that we use the actual operator that we want to overload and then in the signature we're gonna pass a person so let's say person P and then we're gonna pass an int okay in 32 and this is gonna be uh, years okay 
So the idea here, let me go ahead and do this. The idea here is to return a person. So we're going to return underscore p, okay? But we're going to return underscore p dot age plus the years, okay? Um, actually, I have to do underscore underscore p equals underscore p dot age plus years. That's what I need to do. And then in here, I simply return the person class, okay? age okay so that's the property that we're altering and then we're going to return the entire object so let's go let's go ahead and see what this does right now let me go ahead and put a, a breakpoint there and let's step through the debugger so I I already created a me class and now you can see that I'm 30 years old okay when I overload the operator it's gonna make a call to that operator and it's gonna say hey you're passing me me is 30 and you're passing years, year is 5. And so I'm saying that 30 plus 5 is going gonna, is gonna to be stored now on this object in the age property. And I'm going to return the object. Now when I look at me, I'm not 30 anymore, I'm 35. And that's how you overload an operator. It has to do, and it's simply put, it has to do with using different types uh, besides the ones that already come in the framework, like int plus an int, a decimal plus a decimal, a double plus a, plus a double, or or a double divided by int, you can overload several operators. Not all of the operators are overloaded, but um, um, a lot of them are. Um, and that's how you overload an operator. It's quite straightforward and simple. So um, I hope this was helpful. Um, the the link for to our um, Facebook group is below so uh, check us out and let me know what you think if you have any questions ask us at the group is the best way to do it um, okay I'll see you soon bye